Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. So today's upload is going to be rather quick, um, hopefully not too long, though it may extend over 10 minutes, I'm not too sure. Um, if you are wondering why I did not live stream, oh boy, that was a one hell of an adventure, um, in a negative way, obviously. Uh, it did not want to load, and not only that, uh, did I get awarded with not loading and uh, wasting five hours of my time, I also got awarded with more than 30 subscribers <laughs> getting lost. So, uh, I, mm, I don't know. That's a little bit, uh, concerning. So, if you want to resubscribe or subscribe to this channel, you could do so. Um, I don't know why I even lost any in the first place. But, uh, yeah, so you can subscribe, and today's video is going to be long range outlook. I have one thing to say before we go, though. Um, on May 31st, I am going t on vacation, or I'm going to see my relatives, and I will be gone through June 17th. So, throughout that time frame, not a single video will be uploaded. So, yes, my channel will be, it will be inactive for 17 days. Um, yeah, what can I do? Uh, not much. I could pre-record a couple of videos, maybe re release them, but um, they are going to most likely be... Uh, it's going to be most likely be inactive, so I apologize about that, but mm, priorities first. Um, my family, I get to see every five, six years, and that's what I, um, it's, this, this is one of those years. So, uh, I take that over pretty much everything. And let's get into this. So, uh, you may be surprised by the title of this video. It is why this cold air will return, why the cold outlook will be, or the cold temperatures will be back. And yes, there will be warm temperatures. Obviously, this is June, late, or late May, early June, where we're talking about this time frame. But uh, compared to average, it will definitely be cooler. First thing, uh, there's this big storm. I will not be talking about this big storm. It's just, um, it's just covered by so many people, and I already covered it. And I know many people didn't watch it, but you could definitely watch it. Um, it's still up there, and uh, there's no reason not to watch it. And you can see this storm basically <clears throat> dies. Um, another storm possibly comes up, but once these storms stop coming in, you can see with each storm that comes up, we, this storm is spinning clock or counterclockwise, and or, uh, yeah, uh, sorry, it's spinning clockwise. Um, counterclockwise, sorry, and it's being counterclockwise, and that is basically essentially every time this happens, it brings up uh, quite a bit of um, warm air from the Gulf of Mexico, and that is, uh, you know, that is usually associated with uh, quite a bit of warm air and and moisture, and that's why we just keep getting these resurges of warm air across much of the country. That's I would say south of the Canadian border, and then we go go into a cooler period you can see um this is sunday may 26th and here we have a high of pressure 1027 fairly high up there fairly high pressure and we see look at that the 540 line possibly getting down into the northern states of united um, of united states and you can see in the parts of the northeast that my friends when you see the 540 line that far south in May or June it means very chilly temperatures. Look at that, 540 right there, freezing line up there, not that far away from the United States. And we don't go as far as uh, more than that 198 hours with the new model run. So let's go to the previous one. And look, this one has it even further down to the south. So this would be an interesting situation, interesting scenario to watch unfold. We could be looking at some fairly chilly temperatures. This one actually going rambunctiously. Um, it's cold, and I don't believe that this will uh, be this cold because what the model is hinting right here is some ridiculous cold that would mean the 40s and 50s, and I would say even 30s across some locations during the nights, even some 20s. So for J uh, May, June, that is yes, that, that that is very cold. Look at that 540 right there. Um, <laughs> You don't always see that in June, uh, so possibly a couple of records could be broken. I'm sorry, this is again taking such a long time to load. We have really poor Wi-Fi, and for some reason, it does not want to load anything down here. Nothing. Uh, we move that computer down to our basement, and it doesn't want to load anything down here. I mean, it's so frustrating, guys, because that's why I couldn't live stream yesterday. And not only that, I lost several subscribers, and I just want to give this channel up at some time. That's how I feel, because no one seems to be appreciating. I know there's people that watch this and appreciate it, but it's so little for the amount of work that I put into this. Um, I'm happy with what I have, but, like... <sighs> It's disappointing, and I have the right to be mad as well. So um, let's go to the two meter temperature shaded, and let's see what's 
uh, what the actual temperatures will look like with that cold outbreak of temperatures and that cold air mass. Let's see what's uh, you know what's going to happen. So let's go hour two one o two. You can see later on it does warm up, but that's still below average um, compared to what we're supposed to be in late June, early May. Um, early June, late May, and you can see this is Saturday, and in here the all hell breaks loose. You can see quite a bit of chilly air, especially during the night. I'm um, coming down. Look at that, 40s and 50s. That is very chilly for late May. Not unheard of, but chilly. And look at that. Uh, this one just goes uh, beyond me. Look at that, 30s across the United States, 50s with um, that air mass. Look, frost potentially. Uh, very chilly. <coughs> very cold um, for May. Um, <coughs> for June now. Yes, that is cold. 50s in Chicago is basically unheard of in June. Um, yes, it does happen, but uh, it's definitely not average. It's below average, so it's fair to say this is way below average condition. Um, 6 to 10 day outlook, if you look at it, May uh, 27th through the 31st, we see below average across the north central U.S., above average across the southeastern parts of the United States. I would extend even this uh, further down to the south. Uh, above average, though, for much of the country. So uh, if you have a garden... Um, being cool and above average is a recipe for fungus disease and not good growth for many things So get ready this year may not be a good year for gardening But you can see um, in terms of 8 to 14 day outlook still fairly chilly across the central third of the country And this extends into June 4th and later on we still may be looking at some chilly conditions While above average conditions still continue which again would uh, spell some trouble uh, in terms of the uh, funguses so uh, that's basically, I just wanted to quickly update. I'm not really uh, too uh, motivated to record a video right now, but um, thank you guys so much for watching. Consider subscribing, consider liking the video, and I'll catch you all guys in the next episode. See ya. Bye.